I'm going to be honest with you right now. I am absolutely terrified. So for my whole life, I have suffered from anxiety. And basically, a lot of things freak me out. Um, traveling places, elevator rides, talking to people I know, talking to people I don't know, um, just about anything public, uh, icebreaker games. Oh, <laughs> I hate icebreaker games. Even if it's just going around in a circle, saying my name in my major, I have to sit there and rehearse over and over in my head what I'm going to say, as if between now and then, I'm somehow going to forget my own name. Because of my anxiety, every part of me, every bone in my body screams for comfort, for routine, for safety. And I'm probably not the person you'd expect to be up here giving a TEDx talk right now. But I'm here because I have found when I decide to push against that, that great things happen. We are the consequences of our own actions, and therefore we live the lives we choose. And with that being said, run from comfort. Your comfort zone tells you what is safe and what is not, and while that is important, if you always play it safe, if you always sit on the sidelines, you will find, more often than not, yourself unfulfilled. Life is too short to live the same day twice. You have to live intentionally and not out of habit, and that is a decision that you have to make every second of each and every day. Because comfort, it's easy to fall into. And humans, we love it. In fact, we love it so much, we surrounded ourselves with it. Comfort is quick, it's easy, it's convenient. They're the things that require little effort on our parts. But what does the opposite of comfort look like? It's challenge, it's patience, it's hard work. They're the things that we fight for. The greatest accomplishments of my life were not given to me, they were earned. They were things that I fought for, that fought back. Things that gave me every right to fear them. But I decided not to. We all experience obstacles. Things that block us out from accomplishing what we really want. Sometimes people like to describe these obstacles as walls to climb over but that just never seemed right to me because climbing a wall does not sound as hard or as terrifying as these obstacles really seem. So instead, let's call them dragons. <laughs> Every single person in this room has a dragon. Hell, you probably have multiple dragons. But I bet there's a big one one that's huge and daunting and seems impossible to overcome, and we look at it and we go, I have to defeat that? That. <laughs> You're kidding, right? I, I, I can't do that. I'm not strong enough. I'm not brave enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. So we throw up our hands, and we set down our swords, and we walk away, right back into our comfort zones. Running from comfort means slaying your dragons. And that is a choice, because everything comes down to you. You are the common denominator of your life, and what I mean by that is, in the end, everything is your decision. You have one life, one shot to make a difference, to make the world a better place. It's all up to you. And yet we often get stuck, trapped in jobs we don't like, or with people who don't understand or fill us, and we push our dreams so far off to the side that they seem more like impossibilities than realities waiting to happen. We end up removing ourselves from the incredible future we imagined, saying things like, I'm not good enough. I'll do it when I'm ready and when it feels safe, excusing ourselves from the shame of not reaching our full potential because we claim it's just not the right time. But the truth is, it will never be the right time. You will never feel strong enough. You will never feel brave enough until you charge full steam ahead and chop your dragon's head clean off. And the thing is, when you look back at it, you realize it's just a lizard. It's a stupid, puny little lizard. And this whole time, the dragon was only ever in your head. So earlier when I said to run from comfort, what I really meant 
was decide to fight for the incredible life you may have only ever dreamed of because you're terrified of what it takes to get there. Because if you stop and think about it, you can literally do anything you want. The only thing that's stopping you is you. You are your only obstacle. Thank you.